Hey dolls and gents, today I have a new video for you guys and I'm finally going to show you how I install my laced wigs or custom units when I actually adhere them down to my forehead so that they don't move so I can just play with the hair, do whatever I want. I typically do not do this. I typically just use the glueless method and I've already done a video on that so I will leave a card up top if you're interested in checking that video out. But if you want something a little bit more secure, like you're going out for an event or you need your lace wig to be down for a few days, this is definitely major key. By the way, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Like right now, you won't miss any of my new uploads because I got plenty of uploads coming for you guys this week, okay? So I wasn't gonna do a video on this because I did not invent this. This is something that everybody and they mama have been using and it is the bomb. It's not as bad as glue, but it definitely still is gonna hold your wig. So you have to be careful when you remove your wig, but it will come off with just soap and water. So I have been using the Got To Be Ultra Glued products and the glued product. So I use the black gel and then I use the glued hairspray. These two are amazing. And the lace wig that I'm rocking is from Uni Wigs. This is a Beyonce inspired wig. And this is the same unit that I've been rocking for like a month now on and off. So I absolutely still love it. And to keep the hair looking nice and sleek, I did go in using my new flat iron that I'm loving. I've been using this for about a week, a week and a half, and it is the bomb. And I have a discount code for you guys, so I definitely wanted to share this. This is the Vanity Planet Vibe. It is a vibrating flat iron. I've never seen anything like this before, so I'm not sure if there's other products out there like this, but it actually vibrates when you go down the hair shaft, which is amazing. I find that it does not snag. It keeps the hair looking nice and smooth. And it really took this hair from looking frizzy to nice and sleek again because this hair does have a wavy texture to it. So it is not bone straight after I wash it which is what I did earlier today. So this flat iron is originally $80, but I have a discount code for 50% off. So you will get this for $39.99. I suggest that y'all hop on it. I really love using this method, especially when I wear my blonde wig. I always adhere it down just because I feel like with the color, I don't want any of my edges having a potential to come out because they're black. They're really dark, so I really enjoyed doing this, and I just know that my wig is on nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp, so it's a really simple method. Everybody's been using it lately, so I'm sure you've probably seen it already, but if you wanna see how I adhere my lace wigs, to my head and how I straighten this hair flawlessly today, then definitely stay tuned, guys. All right, so let's get into this. You're first going to pull out your wig and put it on your head and place it a bit behind your hairline because we are going to adhere this wig down. So you want to secure it in the back and then we'll work on the front in just a moment. Next, you wanna take your got to be ultra glued styling gel and place this above your hairline. You can put a little bit on your hairline, but try not to get a lot on your hairline, especially if you have a larger forehead than me, just because when you take the wig off, it's going to be on your edges rather than the forehead. So I would say try to keep it on your forehead instead of your hairline, okay? Next, I'm going to use a blow dryer on a cool setting. This is going to make sure that it gets tacky and not like slip and slide on your forehead. Like the hot setting is just gonna be a hot mess. So use the cool setting and go ahead and blow dry that just until it gets tacky. 
So this next step is major key for me at least, and it's the got to be glued blasting free spray. Apply this over top the gel. That's going to help everything just stick better and just last a little bit longer than just with the gel by itself. Again, you wanna take the blow dryer on a cool setting, I cannot stress that enough, and blow dry around the hairline. All right, now it's time for the fun part, actually adhering the wig down to our forehead. So I first like to start in the middle and I work side by side. So I'm first gonna start with my left hand side and I'm going to use a comb, the back end of the comb, and just press it into the gel and the hairspray that we put on our forehead and it should just stick on really nice. It's not going to be a good finish until you go back in with a blow dryer, but this is a tedious process right here. It really doesn't take all that much time when I'm in the mirror doing it, but just cause I'm trying to film and make sure I'm in focus at the same time, I am taking a little bit longer than normal, but it's a pretty fast process. Next, I'm taking my comb with the blow dryer on a cool setting and I'm adhering it down. And this is what really locks it in place so it ain't going nowhere, baby, okay? So now we're gonna fast forward through the other side. As you can see, it's already kind of sticking to my forehead, but it's not like stuck there until you blow dry it. So once you blow dry it, it's locked in place. So make sure it's where you want it before you use that blow dryer because you will have to start all over again and wash the lace and everything. So just make sure you have it right before you blow dry. So now that our lace wig is nice and laid, it's time to get this hair right. So I'm going in with my Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. This stuff is the truth when you are straightening your hair with a flat iron. Oh my gosh, this serum is the bomb. As you can see, I'm kind of running low on it, which is why I have to really squirt it out. I need to get more ASAP. Now it's time to finally straighten my hair. I'm using the Vanity Planet Vibe Vibrating Flat Iron and it is the bomb. As you can see, it takes this hair from frizzy and really big to nice and sleek bone straight hair and it gives the hair a nice sheen along with the serum that I use. I absolutely love it. It's super easy to go in and straighten your hair. It doesn't take much time at all. So just look at the sheen and sleekness of the hair on my left hand side. It just looks so much better than it did before, right? And here's a side by side just so you can see how frizzy and big the hair was before I flat ironed it. So it does make a huge difference. So yeah, if any of you are interested in checking out this wig, I will have a link down below for you guys. I will also leave a card up top for my first review on this wig so you can see what it looked like when I first received it. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more, definitely don't forget to thumbs up this video and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.